Hi everyone, it's uh, Chris DC Breaks here, back in the studio with a walkthrough demonstration of our brand new serum pack, uh, which is called Halloween, of course. It has 30 presets in the pack, um, most of those are bass. In fact, all these ones in yellow here on the screen, you can see our bass sounds, that's what, 26, and then there's three effects and also a beat in the pack as well. Um, as always, they're jam-packed full of nice custom wavetables, um, some crazy macros to really like make the sound unique. And um, yeah, what I've done is I've just quickly made a little walkthrough project, um, just very yeah simple, like no no additional processing or anything, um, just to really kind of show what they can do. So let's have a listen through, through to that, and then I'll go back and show each one in detail, kind of explain how I made it, and um, show off what the macros can do um, to make the sounds really cool. So um, yeah, let's have a listen. So let's stop there. Um, the next one is just like an evil laugh one, but we'll come back and do the effects right at the end. Let's get into some bass sounds. Okay, so uh, the first one up is called uh, Ghoul. Um, here's how I programmed it just now. So this one's like really um, straightforward actually. It's just like a, a reset I made before, chucked into the noise section and kind of um, yeah, looped, so get the right kind of pitch. You can hear it looping. Run through the reverb section and a bunch of effects. And then um, with the macros, you can do stuff like this. So some kind of extreme pitching effects. You can change the kind of... Give it like a bit of an edge and some width with this macro here. Three is really good for basically like shaping the the was in your tune, and then four is quite often just some uh, automation effects, uh, automation effects, reverb effects. So kind of good for breakdowns and what have you. Okay, so that's that one. Let's move on to the next one, which is called Pumpkin Hair. This is how it sounded. <laughs> So uh, yeah, as you can see, as you can hear rather, uh, a bit of pitch bend in there. Uh, let's see what kind of automation I've done as well, if any. Yeah, here we go, Macro One's doing some stuff, so let's have a listen. More subtle effects on two. 
some of these uh, macros kind of work uh, differently depending on which other macros are kind of turned on and stuff. So best just to have a little play around and uh, see what you get. It's kind of why I've given them stupid names because it's uh, that way you don't know really what they do. You just have to play around, experiment. That's what it's all about. Come up with something new. Okay. This one's called uh, Little Mikey Myers. Bless him. So this one's interesting. It doesn't have any pitch on the keyboard at all. Uh, it's all the same note. But they're all subtly different though. So that one, for example, it's got that nice natural oscillation on it. So what I would normally do is kind of get that note. Maybe just tweak it with the macros. I mean, Sounded good there, roughly. Um, get out an audio channel. Boom, boom, get rid of those. And then in uh, Serum, you can just then press your note and drag that to your uh, audio channel. And there it is. And then you could, you know, turn it into a, um, a sampler. Oops, excuse me, it's all going mental here. Give it a bit of uh, uh, sorry, zone, I mean. Give it some that sort of thing. And there you go, you have a brand new sampler instrument. But I digress, let's jump on to the next one. Dr. Frankenstein. I mean, it looks like I've gone completely mental with all the macros on this one. Uh, yeah, so all the macros are doing stuff. Um, obviously, there's that big pitch bend in it. <laughs> Adding that nice little weird scream, that's pretty cool. Um, Let's move on. What's the next one? Trick or treats. Won't be any of that this year, will there? Um, so yeah, what's going on here? Macros one and macros three. Oh, they're kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, I, I kind of copied the macro um, automation from one channel to the other and just kind of moved them a bit. So they're kind of doing different things, but. gnarly um, anything else of interest in this one no oh, this one again it has like um, a resampled sound in, in the noise oscillator that's kind of like my new thing to do that um, just you get really like unique sounds doing that so you, mean, you could you could record that sound and then put that back into the noise oscillator and then you know see where you go from there just resample 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 okay gates of hell So this is kind of what I call uh, a neuro foghorn or neuro horn. Big epic sounds, and the the macros are really cool on this for like getting a, a unique sound. So just holding down the one note. also be really good for like movie trailer sound design stuff uh, gargoyle this is how this one sounded here like the screech is being done by macro one um, which is kind of yeah it's, it's basically controlling the amount of uh, frequency modulation uh, on a from B and from B from the sub if that makes sense Low down. See you going on there. Get the idea with that one. Okay, next one. Black cats. This is kind of a. Um... 
Transition effect. Uh, it's only got the one bit of automation on it, which is macro two, which does. I can't even remember. What. Kind of the comb filtering thing. Um, it really reminds me of something. Uh, maybe it's like a noisy tune, deception, maybe. That sort of effect in it. Um, but very easy to use. You just press the one note. <laughs> uh, Warlock. Bit of jump up. So not a lot of uh, automation going on. Let's listen to what the automation, uh, the macros do though. Uh, just loop that. So that kind of shapes like the top end. And does that, but in a like totally different way. Reverb on three, edgy. This is obviously doing something with the pitch. It might be that if you turn this down, you've got to really go up here or not. Pretty cool. Um, ghost. So yeah, more kind of short stabs. Just like a nice sick growl. If you hold it, I did actually put in like a sort of pattern which I forgot about. Here we go. So you could customize this yourself if you wanted to. nice uh, and obviously you probably noticed some very funky ghost emoji wavetables there got to try out a custom wavetable once in a while werewolf quite grimy this one nice thick chunky reese let's play around with some of these macros again nice little wolf emoji wavetable Is chunky. Uh, spider. Yeah, nice sort of subby roller. This one. Here's some of the whoop whoop. It's kind of on macro one. Some weird effects on one and uh, sorry, on two and three, I think. Moving on, uh, Evil Eye. Skeleton. Some nice skeleton wavetables. All about the uh, movement through the wavetable and the flange. Flange? Fl flange filter. Flange. <laughs> Idea. Zombie. Yeah, a bit of a transition effect this, but it's quite versatile if I remember correctly. Like you can do some uh, just use the keyboard so I can
so yeah it's sort of a <laughs> jump up bass weird effects uh transition thing all in one that one just like a zombie made up all those bits uh next one which <laughs> So yeah, some nice movement through the sound on this one. Um, the other thing which I've done on a few of these is to kind of automate in like some effects where the snares would normally hit. Obviously, if you have a different snare pattern, you might need to move them, but it kind of just helps with the groove a bit. Let's try some of these macros. Cool. Um, dead. As you can hear, the rate of the uh, oscillation was changing there, so that's probably one of these macros, uh, too, I'm guessing. Lots of things changing here, so it could be any of them. Oh, here we go. Ooh. So, you get the idea, but that's how you uh, change the speed of that one, Macro 3. one uh, claws so yeah I, I kind of use this like a transition risery sort of bass sound in the little demo I did versatile with the macros but <laughs> that's quite cool might need like an extra sub layer underneath it or something um, let's have a look yeah it's got nice little bat wave tables here Yeah, you can really, um... Uh, I think the reverb's got a bit stuck on here. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, some quite cool sort of spore vibes with that one. Vampire. Let's have a listen to this. Another one where I'd like choose to make a good sound and then resample it. frequency there. Uh, Pennywise. Ooh. 
So yeah, with this one, I just kind of pitch bend it up lightly to get uh, slightly to get it that kind of riff um, going. Reminds me of a tune as well. Can't think what it is right now. Troll. Idea can do loads and loads of edits with the macros on that one. Bill's a burb. <laughs> so, yeah, I made this into a gnarly reese. Again, this one works off the loop, you can hear it in the noise section. Evil. Uh, speaking of which, it's the devil. Let's see how he sounds. Really got to play around with the macros in this one. Probably just hit record and uh, bounce off a load of audio from that one and then just chop it up, get some, some of those nice textures going. Mummy. Nice movement in this one, which you can see on one of these LFOs. Seven, here we go. I'm just going to turn that evil laugh off because it's got a really long tail on it. Go away. Right. Um, so this is the last bass sound anyway. So it's a good time to uh, maybe do have a look at those in a sec. But you can see with these movements here, it's all been set up with the LFO bus. Which one is it? Um, it is. It's... Here we go. So you can hear how that's kind of. Nice. All right. So that's all the bass sounds. Then we've just got the evil laugh. Let's have a listen to that. Uh, this is really simple, actually. I don't think these are doing much. If I remember, it's mainly just uh, me laughing and then um, making it sound cool with some of these effects. Uh, now this one, this pad is really cool. Um, if you've watched our video on the, um, let's just turn this guy off again. He's pissing me off. Um, if you watched our tutorial on the liquid presets that we made, this is kind of the same idea. So it's got um, a sample of thunder in a noise, and then it's got um, these two are actually like custom wavetables I made uh, from different effects as well. But you put it all together, and you get basically like a sort of uh, almost like a plugin you could use for any sort of sound design or film or anything like that. Really, you can just kind of things like that or and it's just playing through like a few simple notes I haven't really done much with automation anyway very good for creepy stuff um, speaking of which the creepy gluck Now this you can I made like a obviously like a sort of arpeggiated pattern um, with LFO two here, but macro three you can turn it off so you can just use it like a uh, <laughs> lovely. Um, 
and then there's some nice kind of weird effects here so let's just put the pattern on back on for a second I'll show you those I don't know, harmonic like off key create a sense of dread then detune it and then destroy it So that's cool, just a bit of fun really. Uh, and the wavetable actually was sampled from a glockenspiel as well, which is quite cool. For extra creepiness. Um, and then last but not least, Scream, uh, which is actually not a scream, it's just a beat. So this is all in one serum preset. You can see why I called it Scream, but it's actually not doing a huge amount. <laughs> it's mainly for, just for looks. And it's all about automating volume on the kicks and snares you can actually add in some symbols as well and then some nice effects and obviously it works for different pitches well I say works but So there you have it, that is the Halloween serum pack. And uh, whilst you're here, I'll also just show you, I went to a lot of trouble, so I hope you enjoy it, of making a creepy serum skin, which I'm chucking into the serum pack for free. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, hit subscribe if you wanna see more of this sort of stuff from our channel. And it's available to buy right now, dcbreaks.com forward slash shop for uh, the price of a round of drinks. So uh, happy Halloween everyone, stay safe, and until next time, I'm out of here, bye bye.